In today's video, you will learn how to use a remote event to communicate from the server to the client in your game in Roblox Studio. First, I have two scripts. One is on the server side under server script service called script. And the other script is under starter player under starter character scripts. And it's in a script called local script. Here's what it looks like when it plays out. When a player logs in, a message pops up after a few seconds that says welcome to the server and then it goes away. We're going to be using the replicated storage to create an event called a GUI event, which fires and gives us that message message and goes away. Let's see what the code looks like. So in our server script, we get two services. We get the replicated storage, which is where the remote event is going to be stored into. We need the players service, so that way we can reference the player when they log in. Next, we create a variable called remote event, which creates a brand new remote event instance. We rename it to GUI event, and then we set the parent of the remote event to replicated storage. Next, we tell the player service that every time a player is added, let's run this function. The player added method passes the player as a parameter, and we say to delay for three seconds, then run this function, which is to take the remote event and use that remote event to fire a signal to our client, which is the player that has logged in. This remote event fires at replicated storage. And now let's take a look at the local script on the client side. On the client side, we also pull the same two services, replicated storage and players. Then we reference the remote event by creating a variable called remote event, going into replicated storage and finding a child called GUI event, which is our remote event. Next, we get our player by using the player service and referencing the local player which is the client. Then we need to get their player GUI by calling their player and waiting for a child called player GUI. And then we're waiting for the screen GUI because in our starter GUI folder, we have a screen GUI that has an enabled property that we can alter. Let's take a look. By default, it's set to false. And when I set it to true, the welcome to the server message pops up. When I set it to false, it goes away. Back to the local script, we reference that screen GUI. And then we also tell the client to start listening to that GUI why remote event and we say if that remote event is fired towards us so on client event let's connect this function and we enable the screen GUI and then we say after three seconds have gone by then run this function where we disable the screen GUI by setting the enabled property to false and the final result looks like this welcome to the server and after three seconds it goes away and that's the basics of how a server communicates to the client we're going to be using these often in various tutorials so I thought this would be important for you to know. See you all next time.